This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today, I'm actually gonna go over bed bugs, but I've been absent for several weeks on making videos, mainly because I've made so many I don't know what else to talk about. So if you're new here, I consider that you subscribe to my channel. I've got all kinds of cool information about bugs, if bugs are what you like to learn about, and how to get rid of them from bed bugs to cockroaches to ants and silverfish and all kinds of different bugs. So if you're considering subscribing to any YouTube channel about do-it-yourself pest control, I uh, recommend you subscribe to mine and like and follow me and uh, or like the video or whatever. And uh, I'm on TikTok, I'm on Discord, I'm on all kinds of other, you know, platforms, YouTube, Facebook, everything, you know, I'm all over the place. So uh, follow me. Uh, if you like this kind of content, I really do appreciate all of the followers that I do have that I've gotten over the last nearly seven years. And uh, let's talk about bed bugs. So this actually came from a comment on my live stream. So I live stream every Thursday night. On Thursdays, we it's called the bed bug show. We talk about all kinds of stuff pertaining to bed bugs or you know any other bugs really. But bed bugs is what people know me for. Bed bugs are what I help people eliminate on their own for, you know, less than $100 most of the time. And so uh, when you compare that to pricing, when you get people out to your house and they're like, you know, $2,800, $2,600, $3,500 to get rid of bed bugs and then you do it on your own for less than $100, that's pretty cool. So that's what people know me for. But um, and, and typically every live stream, I will ask a community question. Now, my community questions are posted over on my community board. That's why I said you want to be able to subscribe to the channel because you could go over there, you could post on the community board, and you can ask me questions. And so this actually came from this comment right here, and I want to talk about it. I want to go over step by step how to get rid of bed bugs in your home and what you need to do. And I'm going to try my best to cut in different parts here of me actually treating homes for bed bugs so that you can understand the step-by-step -step procedure on how to do it. If you really want a guide, a really comprehensive, good guide on how to get rid of bed bugs, I recommend you check out my course over on Udemy. It is the number one bed bug course, I believe online, period, anywhere. But it's absolutely the number one course on Udemy and there are a couple other bed bug courses over there. Um, so I've got, you know, I don't know, I think it's like over 200 people now that have taken my course. People have left awesome reviews over there and been able to get rid of the bed bugs on their own. So if this video isn't enough and you need more detailed information, because I can only fit so much on a YouTube video, then I do recommend you go over and hit up my course, take a look at it. They run sales all the time, $12, $11, $10. In fact, a lot of times I will even give the course away for free. My promotion actually just ended the first week of February, so I can't run another one of those for a while. But um, I try to give it away for free whenever I can. So, like I said, I do the best I can to help people out. Uh, but if you're really curious on you know, how to get rid of bed bugs and the step-by-step -step procedures on how to do so, I do recommend you go check out that channel over there. Uh, I mean, not channel, my, my course on Udemy's website. So. Now that I've gotten all my plugs and shameless plugs and all that crap out of the way, let's go over this. So step one, first you wanna actually make sure that you have bed bugs. A lot of the people I talk to don't even have bed bug problems at all. They have carpet beetles, they have bird bites, they have ants, you know, something else is biting them. They've, you know, turned their beds upside down, they've turned over their box springs, They've checked everywhere. They've emptied their dressers. They've emptied their closets. They've done all of this work trying to find bed bugs. They're getting bit, but they don't have bed bugs. They can't find a single bed bug. In fact, I know of people that have taken my course 
that have gone in and treated their house and not even found a dead bed bug and are still getting bit. If this is your case, you probably don't have bed bugs. But, you know, check for ants, check for fleas, check for mosquitoes. You know, do the things, lots of things will bite you that, you know, aren't actually bed bugs at all. In fact, I have a video that I'll post right now on uh, carpet beetles and how to eliminate carpet beetles. Carpet beetles can cause you to break out, much like bed bug bites. And so just because you're getting bit doesn't mean it's bed bugs. So you've, you have deduced, you found bed bugs, you found casings, you found blood spots, you found bugs. How do you get rid of them? So first step is identifying the problem and making sure you actually have a bed bug problem. You have identified the problem. You have ensured you do have bed bugs. What steps do you take to eliminate the problem? Well, there's some things you don't want to do. You don't want to run to Walmart, buy whatever bed bug spray they have on the shelf or Lowe's or wherever, and just spray willy-nilly all over the place. You don't want to do that. You want to get a chemical that actually works. You want to get a pesticide that no one else is using. The problem with bed bugs, much like cockroaches, they develop a resistance to chemical. So resistance means that if you spray a pesticide and you kill 80% of the, of the population, the 20% that don't die, you know, it, it, it's killing bed bugs, killed 80%. Like say you have 100 and you kill 80 bed bugs, the 20 that don't die, the reason they don't die is because they are either chemical resistant or they're uh, genetically resistant, meaning the chemical's not going to kill them at all because their genetics allow for them to withstand the pesticide. So you've got immunity and then you've got resistance. So, you know, that's what happens when you spray a chemical that everyone else sprays. If you go to Walmart, like everyone else does, and spray a chemical, like everyone else does, the thing is, is the bed bugs came from someone else's house. Let's say someone else sprayed the same thing you go and you buy at Walmart. Well, they travel to your house from them. So whatever you spray, the same thing they sprayed, is not going to kill the bed bugs. It didn't work for them. It's not going to work for you. So don't go to Walmart and buy any kind of just bed bug pesticide because it won't work. It will not work and you're just wasting your money. So one of the reasons that I recommend Crossfire, Crossfire is a chemical that I use to eliminate bed bugs. Crossfire is a neonicotinoid, is from the neonicotinoid family of pesticides. It is a non-repellent pesticide. So bed bugs don't know that it's ever been applied. They don't recognize the chemical as even being there, okay? So if they don't know it's there, you treat your mattress, you treat your box spring, you treat everywhere uh, that bed bugs could possibly live or harbor or are attracted to, like you, your bed and your sofa and everything like that. If you treat these areas, then when the bed bugs crawl out to get to you, they crawl over the surface. Now, they don't recognize that the crossfire has been sprayed at all. They don't recognize the chemical. They don't know it's there. So they continue to crawl right on out, crawl out to you to bite you, and when they do, they die. So it's really easy, and it's, and it's a chemical that not everybody has. You know, if you have to get on Amazon.com or do your own pestcontrol.com or do it yourself.com or pestsolutions.com or whatever, all these different websites that sell crossfire. All right, if you have to get online, order a chemical, wait two to five days to have it delivered to your house. Most people don't want to do that. Most people want to run to Walmart, run to Lowe's, run to Home Depot, wherever, their farm supply store or whatever, and just buy a chemical and spray it because they're in their head. They want to start working on this solution to get rid of this problem as quickly as they possibly can. But that's the wrong step to take. You need to be patient you need to get the right chemical. So what happens if you've already gone out to Walmart and you've sprayed a Walmart brand pesticide? All right, this is a problem because a lot of chemicals are repellent pesticides. So that means you spray them around the bed and everywhere. The bed bugs see the chemical. They don't want to cross over the chemical because it repels them. It pushes them away. It's like, hey, don't come here. You come here, you're gonna die. So they don't do it. They don't crawl over it. Well. How long do those chemicals last? A lot of those pesticides, the residue can last up to 90 days, especially inside when you spray it inside. So the problem with that is, let's say you just found my video and you've already sprayed a pesticide. Well, now you've got to wait. You can't just spray a non-repellent chemical 
on top of a repellent chemical because the repellent chemical will shine through the non-repellent chemical and you're wasting product. You're wasting the pesticide. You're spraying crossfire on top of something that repels bed bugs. So it won't work. That goes the same for DE. It goes the same for all kinds of essential oils and stuff like that. They're highly repellent to bed bugs. And if you go and you spray crossfire on top of it, crossfire won't work. So you'll have to either go through, read your label, read how you clean up a chemical when you've misapplied it, or you'll have to wait up to 90 days to apply crossfire. When if you had just waited four or five days for it to arrive in the mail, you could be spraying your bed bugs right now instead of having to wait for several months. So I do not recommend using any type of chemical. I know you've probably already misapplied, you've already used the wrong chemical, but in the future, try to understand that don't freak out, don't let it you know, get to you. Make sure you make a good educated choice on what type of chemical you wanna use. That's why you're watching my videos because you wanna learn how to get rid of bed bugs and what is effective. So you've gotten Crossfire, order Crossfire. Get online right now, order Crossfire, that's step two. All right, you got to get a decent chemical and you have to get you a spray can. So these are the products you need to tackle your problem. All right, this is step by step. This is what I was asked to do. I'm trying to get this, you know, down to 20 minutes or less, but I'm already at 11 minutes. So let's, let's try to get on with this. So you've ordered your Crossfire. Now, what kind of type of spray? Because you're gonna have to mix Crossfire. Crossfire is a concentrated chemical. You have to mix it with water for it to work. So, <clears throat> how do you? How, what do you? What do you use to spray it? What kind of application equipment do you use? Now, I use a B and G. A B and G is a piece of professional equipment. It's what most technicians use if they come in your house. Pest control technicians use. We don't use little plastic, you know, ten dollar sprayers from Walmart. And I'll explain to you why. It's not to talk bad about little, you know, five ten dollar sprayers. They're good for like a roundup application in the yard or something like that. But the reason you don't want to use a plastic sprayer from Walmart is because the valve, the very tip of the wand has a valve. That valve opens and shuts on a BNG. So when you pull the trigger of your handle, the tip of the BNG will spray the chemical. All right, you put your pressure in the tank, you squeeze the handle, sprayer sprays. Great, that's what we want. But what happens with a Walmart brand or a, you know, any kind of little plastic, little cheap sprayer, the valve is actually in the handle, not in the tip of the wand. So when you squeeze that handle and then you spray your chemical, great, it's working. Now, when you let loose the handle, it's supposed to stop. It's supposed to stop spraying. So you're not spraying chemical everywhere all over the floor. But with a plastic sprayer, they don't stop. The reason they don't stop is because the valve is in the hand. So the problem is when you let go of that valve, everything from the valve to the very tip of the wand, so that whole wand is now full of chemical. That stuff trickles out into the floor and makes a puddle in the floor. It makes a mess, it's nasty, and you don't want to do that. You're not even supposed to make, you're not supposed to spray Crossfire to where it puddles or pools in the floor. That's actually against the label and it's a, mis a gross misapplication of pesticide. You don't want to just spray pesticide all over your floor. That's not how you get rid of bed bugs. That's the wrong way to get rid of bed bugs. So that's why I recommend a BNG sprayer. Now, I don't know a lot about other sprayers. I've been using a BNG my whole life, 30 years. I've been using the same type of spray equipment. It's never changed, always works the same. It's fantastic piece of equipment. In fact, my father started his business in 1984. He still has his original B&G from 84, nearly 40 years old, still works, still works great. I mean, it's still a good piece of equipment. So that's why I like B&G. They make quality, quality equipment and I recommend them. I don't buy paid by them, I don't work for them. It's just what I use, it's why I recommend it. Now it's expensive, it's a very expensive sprayer. So you'll have to do your research on your sprayers because I don't know a whole lot about other sprayers, but I know enough that the plastic sprayers have the valve in the handle and that's why they make a mess. That's why you don't wanna buy those. So anyway, you've gotten your sprayer, you've gotten your pesticide, you mix your pesticide up. Now, the way you mix Crossfire is you have to fill your gallon. It's 13 ounces to a gallon. So you're gonna fill your gallon sprayer, a whole gallon sprayer, not a half gallon sprayer, 
not a quarter gallon sprayer, not a pint, a, a gallon sprayer, all right? You fill it half full of water. So now you have a half a gallon of water inside your sprayer. You pour your crossfire into the sprayer, okay? Then you fill it with water. Now you've got a half a gallon plus 13 ounces of crossfire, okay? Now from that 13 ounces, from the, the, the half gallon plus 13, now you're gonna fill it the rest of the way up to a gallon. All right, you don't go over a gallon. You don't take your sprayer and fill it up to a gallon and then add your crossfire because that's going to be a gallon plus 13 ounces. You don't want that. You want 128 ounces of finished solution, which equals a gallon. So it's half gallon water, pour your crossfire in, fill it the rest of the way up to the gallon mark. So that way your crossfire is inside of the gallon, not outside of the gallon. Okay, shake your sprayer, put your lid on, shake your sprayer real good, and now you're ready to apply Crossfire. So now we're gonna get into the actual application, how to apply Crossfire, where to spray it, and how to be effective on getting rid of bugs. So you've made it this far, 15 minutes into the video. I'm really sorry, I'm trying my best to be comprehensive. This is what was asked of me. Don't get mad, don't shoot the messenger. I'm trying my best to give people what they want. Okay, so now you've got your pesticide, you know what you need to do. What do you, what do you need to do? Maybe you don't know what to do. Let's talk about that. So the places you want to apply for Crossfire, these are the places you do not spray Crossfire, okay? Do not spray your floors. Do not, I don't care if you have hardwood floors, if there's cracks all over the floor, do not spray your floor. You do not need to broadcast spray over your entire floor. That is not how you get rid of bed bugs. Don't do that. Do not spray your sheets, your comforters, do not spray your pillows. Do not spray any type of fabric, your clothing, your jackets. Don't do that, okay? You're not supposed to do that. That's not how you get rid of bed bugs. It's a waste of pesticide. People will say, oh, but I saw a bed bug crawl across the floor. I don't care. Don't spray the floor. It's a waste of product. They don't live there. They, they might fall off the bed, run across the floor until they can get to a chair leg or something to crawl up off of, but they do not stay on the floor. They crawl away from the floor, they crawl to the baseboards, they crawl up on the furniture, they do not stay in the floor. So do not spray your floor. That is a waste of chemical. I can't stress this enough. People tell me all the time, I bought a gallon of Crossfire and I could only do one room. What, what's going on? I said, I can do three houses with one gallon of Crossfire. It's for a thousand square feet or 1,500 square feet. I don't know. I don't have to worry about square feet because you don't treat square footage. You treat linear footage, the, the perimeter. You don't treat the square footage. You treat the linear footage. And you may treat the square footage on a mattress or a box spring or whatever, but you don't treat the square footage of a room. You just treat linear footage, which means you treat your baseboards, the window trim, door trim. You treat crown molding if you've got it. You can treat up near the ceiling, the crown anyway. If there's bed bugs nesting up in the cracks around the top of the ceiling, treat those spots. Um, and, and, and this is something I've never said in any other video. If you're having problems applying Crossfire to areas where you know bed bugs live and you need to be able to treat those areas, there is a way that you can treat those areas without having to use a sprayer. If you mix your chemical, your gallon of chemical, you've got your pesticide and use a paintbrush, you can actually use a paintbrush. It says on the label for any difficult areas that you need to treat that you can't spray, you can dip a paintbrush into the solution and paint the area. So that's a, that's a really good point, a really good pointer from a professional exterminator. I've never told people until, well, I may, I've, I've mentioned it on my live streams and stuff before, but just so you know, that's a really good way to apply Crossfire if you've got a sneaky spot that the bed bugs are trying to live and you can't actually get the chemical to get into the crack where they're living. So do that, all right? You, tr you treat your baseboards, crown molding, window trim, door trim, okay? Now, those are the odd places. Now, the, now for the obvious places you need to treat. Your box spring. You need to take the felt off of the bottom of the box spring. You know, that thing, that big piece of black or white cloth it's stapled onto the bottom of the box spring. It really doesn't do anything except, you know, keep cats from crawling up inside your box spring. Take that all the way off, spray all the way around your staples. Take the corner guards off of your box spring, those little plastic covers on the corners of your box spring. Take those off, just take those off. Treat all up underneath those, all around all the tufts and the folds, all the fabric folds of your box spring. Treat inside the box spring. 
If you've got springs, treat around all the springs. Treat really well inside that hollow box because bed bugs will absolutely harbor inside the box spring. The thing about bed bugs is I've treated houses and could not find a single bed bug anywhere in the house. Opened up the box spring, found live bed bugs inside the box spring. So that is a really important place you need to treat your box springs. You also need to treat the outside of the box spring around all of the seams, all of the folds and tufts where the fabric kind of folds over the different you know pieces of wood and stuff like that. Treat all those spots really heavily. Treat your mattress. This is obvious. You know, treat, of course, you want to take all your sheets and covers off your bed first. This is something I really need to tell people because, like I said, it's not enough to tell them, don't treat your sheets. But seriously, take off your mattress encasements, take off your sheets, take everything off of your bed, period. Don't use mattress encasements. They're going to waste your money. Don't use those. All right? Take everything off the bed. Treat the mattress. Treat all your seams, tufts, and folds around the entire mattress. These are places bed bugs like to harbor. They like to squeeze in to these little cracks and crevices all the way around the bed. Treat those spots, okay? Now, I actually recommend using a pin stream, not a fan or a cone or anything like that. You want to use a pin stream type sprayer, which is like a like a jet stream, like psh, like you know, <laughs> like what comes out of a, a raid can. You know, it's a straight stream that goes into the cracks and tufts and stuff. Use that applicator. The reason I say to use that, like even if you get a, a, a sprayer at Walmart or somewhere, they usually all have a, a jet stream or a pin stream type spray attachment for the tip. Use that to get around the seams because if you get enough pressure, that will actually penetrate the seams and the cracks and crevices better than anything else will. And those are the areas you really need to target. Bed bugs don't necessarily live on the surfaces. They like to live in the cracks and crevices. This is the places they feel safe. They feel like they're harbored away from you and they're safe in those spots. Okay? Treat your headboard. Uh, treat your footboard. Treat your bed rails. You know, take the bed completely apart. Treat every single place that wood connects to wood or metal connects to metal. Metal beds get bed bugs too. Don't believe what people say. Absolutely, they will get bed bugs. Uh, air mattresses get bed bugs. Treat your air mattresses. Blow them all the way up. Treat all around where the seams and stuff are on an air mattress. Bed bugs absolutely will live on an air mattress. Uh, treat your couches. Take your cushions off the couch if you can. Treat around the zippers of every cushion. Treat down inside the cushions where you where the the well where your cushions usually sit. There's a spring there, kind of like a box spring for a bed. But if you put your foot and press down on that spring area, it will open a crack all the way around where your armrests are, where the back piece is, and you can spray in that crack. Do that. Treat that spot. Flip your couch upside down. Treat around all the feet, all the staples, everything up underneath the couch. Okay. Do this for love seats, couches, lazy boy recliners, all chairs. Uh, dining room chairs, not so much, but absolutely upholstered furniture. Something you'd sit more than an hour or so on. Say you're going to sit down and watch some Netflix or something like that with your wife, and that's where you want to treat those spots because that's places that bed bugs will like to live. Anywhere they can get a blood meal where you're going to sit more than an hour or so, these are the places you really want to target. You want to treat every single room of your house. Treat basements, treat garages, treat guest rooms, even rooms that aren't used frequently. Treat the whole house, the baseboards throughout the entire house. Now, I said the baseboards of your bedroom and stuff, but really you need to treat the baseboards, window trim, and the door trim through the entire house. You can transport bed bugs through your home on your clothing. How do you think you got bed bugs? You got bed bugs in your house from someone else with them on their clothes, whether it was on their shoes or their pants or their purse, belongings, whatever. They brought them into your home and you can bring them in other rooms of your home. So make sure you treat the whole house. Pay, pay close attention to laundry rooms around washers and dryers. Not the washer and dryer itself, but just the baseboards in a washer and dryer room. Like if you have a separate room, like a spare, kind of like a closet where your washer and dryer sit, you want to treat all around the baseboards, crown molding and everything in that room. Because it's very likely that when you went to take your sheets off your bed, carried them into your laundry room, you dropped a couple bed bugs in the floor. So make sure you treat that room really well. And as long as you do this, and this is really all you have to do, you will get rid of your bed bug problem. Crossfire is the key. The secret is not, well, the secret is in the application and the proper chemical because you can use lots of chemicals. I mean, I've been getting rid of bed bugs like this for years and Crossfire wasn't around. I've used Talstar. I've used lots of pesticides for my Canadian and my New Yorkers and different people who can't get crossfire. You can use repellent pesticides. You can 
but it's gonna take you a lot longer to get rid of your bed bug problem because the chemicals, they have resistance. Bugs have resistance to pesticides, so they do develop a resistance to the chemical. It's not as effective as Crossfire, but if you're diligent, right on your calendar, like if you treat on the first Monday in February, make sure you treat on the first Monday in March and the first Monday in April, and just treat until you stop seeing bed bugs. And you may have to treat for six to nine months before all the bed bugs die. Because basically what you're doing is you're using a repellent where you're using a repellent so that the bed bugs can't get to you for a blood meal. So basically what you're doing is you're starving the bed bugs out. It's going to take you a lot longer to get rid of bed bugs when you do it this way because a non-repellent chemical is much more effective because you're not inhibiting the bed bugs' desire to feed at all. They just come right out and bite, but they crawl through the chemical when they do and they die. If you can't get crossfire, it's not impossible to get rid of bed bugs. You can do it. I mean, this is what anybody else would do, and you can do it too. So, hopefully, this has helped you. Like I said, always read your labels. Always follow the label of a chemical. If you're not going to use Crossfire and you're going to use something else, make sure your chemical's actually labeled to be used on a mattress before you go spraying it there. You don't want to make yourself sick or your children or your pets, okay? Hopefully, this video has been informative and it has answered the question of, you know, step-by-step, step, how to treat a house, how to be successful getting rid of bed bugs in a home. So, if you have any more questions or you have any more comments or any suggestions for any other videos in the future, please leave me a comment below or hit me up on the community forum of this page. Go over, check out community, click it, check out the tabs, leave me a message there. I read every single message, every message that comes through every one of my videos. I read them all, every single one. I always read them. And don't forget, I live stream every Thursday night. Come hang out ask questions. I've got several exterminators even that, that sit over there that answer people's questions too. If I can't get to your question, then they usually do and they're really informative. They're real smart people. And so we've really developed a very nice community here. If you're really concerned and you need your question answered right away, then hit me up on Discord. I do have a Discord. All these links are in the description below and I'll be talking to you next time. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and follow me for more videos like this one. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.